Hey, this is your favorite homeboy, Edward. Today, we're not gonna do a hike, but it's raining. It's kind of dreary, so instead, we're going to be going on an off-road trail. We've got some vehicles lined up here. We're behind three other vehicles, and we're gonna go right behind them because they got experience. Let me show you the lineup. Okay, my family's in the Range Rover, and then we've got three other Jeeps, and we got some good folks over here. We're gonna roll behind. They've got a little bit of experience, so this is gonna be great. You guys ready to go? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll behind these guys. They got a little experience, so it should be fun. You wanna go, babe? You wanna drive? Yeah, you guys ready? Sure. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do a little obstacle here. See if we can catch a little air time, get it on video. Their uh, vehicle has a lot better approach angle in the front and the rear than the uh, Range Rover, so I'm trying to go slow and be pretty conservative. Money shot. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you hit the rock a little? Doing? It's just the subframe. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, we said three tires, not four. Woo! Oh man. It's like all the angles were perfect so that you didn't bottom out. What did you guys think about that? What did you think, Josh? That's great. <laughs> all right, so we're about uh, halfway on the trail. Got through a couple rough parts. Driving about an hour and a half, probably about. 10, 15 minutes of that has been stopping, taking pictures, doing videos. Uh, so it's pretty leisurely. It stopped raining, which is awesome. Uh, even though it rained quite a bit, the trail is muddy, but not impassable. So it's very doable. We've got the three Jeeps in front of us, or two in front of us, and one behind us, just in case uh, we need a little bit of assistance. Uh, so they've been really cool, these guys here, and allowed us to ride with them. And yeah, we're about halfway there and probably about another hour, hour 15 minutes before we finish. Hey Autumn, why don't you tell the, um, the audience here about uh, the trail. So Piers Mill Run Trail says from all trails is 7.9 miles, but the guys ahead of us who've done this several times said it's 15. So I don't know really what it is, but the elevation gain it says 11, about 1100 feet. It's supposed to be easy, which I don't agree with. Easy in some parts. Easy for seasoned off-roaders. And medium for Range Rovers that are 2020 that you don't want to scratch up. And so you got to be extra careful, especially since it's not your vehicle. All right, this has been a fun trail. Definitely recommend it. There's a north and a south entrance. So you can go either way and it's two-way traffic. So in case you do get stuck, you can also turn around. Looks like we're at our next stop. Um, so let's see what we're doing next. Yeah, There's some mud bogging? Yeah, I don't know how solid it's going to be underneath. Make him do all the dirty work. Oh, all right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. Oh, well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah, just keep going back till you feel your rear, rear wheels start to come up. All right, we got mama behind the wheel now. These boys are from Maryland. So they're about two hours away and they come out here and camp telling me about how they take their Jeep out to uh, Colorado and Arizona and go on a lot of trails over there. I asked him, where would be the best place to go off-roading? He said, Colorado. It's got so much density of trails over there. It's such a fun activity. It doesn't cost much and it's just kind of relaxing and enjoy nature. 
a good break from hiking. They're probably gonna head back through the other direction once they hit the north end and come back to south end because it's a little bit different experience. So we're about four miles left and uh, that'll probably take us about uh, just under an hour. It's not bad, right, babe? It's not bad so far. Next contestant, who's up? Boing. <laughs> Joshua, you can do this. Remember, just nice straight lines. All right, this is Joshua's first time off-road and kind of watch their line. Yeah, whatever line they go on, it might be a good one to go on. It's proven. Although this, this part here is pretty forgiving. Drive over rocks. Not hit, don't let the rocks hit the side of your tire. Try to drive completely over them. And don't break don't hard. Don't break, don't break hard. Yeah. Don't break hard. Just let the, let the brake go and let the car go by itself. Okay, so don't, let the brake go, don't, don't. Don't touch anything, just worry about the steering. Oh. Okay, focus on your steering and let the brake modulate itself. Okay, it's okay. Don't, don't brake hard, and just let the car go. Okay, see? See how it kind of brakes itself? If it starts to slip? Right, that wasn't you, right? Yeah, it wasn't, I'm not even on the brake. Yeah, you don't have to be on the brake, just let it go. One on the concrete, one off the concrete. Or oh, that's fine if you can. Yeah. How are the girls doing? Okay, close your back. Here we go. This is an optional obstacle course. We do not have to pass it, but it makes good video footage. <laughs> Joshua got spit on. That works well. Josh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. That was awesome. You, I was going to say watch out for the drain ditch. He just drove right over. What you did is you hit that rock so hard, you didn't, the front wheel didn't touch down until we passed the ditch. That was the plan. <laughs> no pieces oh, fell sure. off. Want to try that next, Josh, with the uh, Range Rover? <laughs> oh, he made it still. Hit the bottom a bit. <laughs> what an angle. Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again, but go Alright, take two. If you like off-roading, or if you've got a Range Rover, or if you can breathe, go ahead and like this video. All right, so we just finished the trail. We had a blast. Uh, you can see that. Uh, <laughs> There's some more vehicles coming through here, uh, deflating their tires, and uh, we just had a really good time. But check out the vehicle, and uh, let's do a quick walk around, see the see the damage, the dirt damage. It's not too bad, not too bad. 
Back looks clean. Tires are yellow. And we got a little bit of a mud splash there, but otherwise in good shape, don't you think, Josh? 